Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Stubmaster Reviews, and today I'm here to review the new action spy thriller, Kingsman the Golden Circle. Now, Kingsman the Golden Circle is a sequel to the 2015 action movie that's based off a comic called Kingsman the Secret Service, and in comparison with the first one, I'd say this one is a lot of fun. Uh, it definitely furthers the story, it has uh, better character development, and I'd say that both of the films are relatively on par. I will say, though, the first one, without a doubt, has better pacing. Uh, there's just a lot going on in the sequel, and that's okay, but maybe it could have flowed a little bit better. So the biggest thing, or I'll go ahead and jump to the pros about the sequel first. So Kingsman the Golden Circle has excellent performances all around from Taron Edgerton as Eggsy. You have Colin Firth, who's great, Mark Strong, uh, even Jeff Bridges and Channing Tatum make appearances in this, and they are they surprisingly fit well into the story because the big gimmick of this film is that there are statesmen, which are basically the American counterparts of the Kingsmen. And the statesmen, um, I wasn't sure how I felt about that at first, but they're really cool, they're awesome. Uh, they have their own unique gadgets that I'm not gonna spoil, but if you're from the Midwest, there's a lot of cool things that they use in there. Also, the action scenes are, okay, I think they're fantastic, however some people will disagree with me on that because they're very sporadic, they're very in your face, they use CG to kind of enhance uh, the fights every now and then to pan the camera around and I think it looks awesome, it's very stylized, but it's definitely going to annoy some people. Um, because I know it's like, wow, they're really, this is really intense and it's enjoyable and it's clear you can see everything that's going on, however, it could be nauseating to some people. I, I know for when I was in the theater, at least I could tell that some people were like taken aback a little bit about why there's so many different turns and zooms and cuts. But that's just the way Matthew Vaughn uh, shot the action scenes. But I love them. I think they're a great addition. Also, this movie has great character development. The first one had good character development as well, but this really takes the characters and um, evolves them from the first one. I felt more attached to the characters this time around, especially in... Um, in terms of Mark Strong's character, as well as Eggsy and his motivation. And there's a relationship that I wasn't expecting that popped up in this film that was a pleasant surprise, and I wasn't sure how they were going to handle that, but I'm really glad they did, because I cared about this character who maybe had literally 30 seconds of screen time in the last film. So, good props to them. So overall, Kingsman the Golden Circle is a lot of fun. The only problem I necessarily had with it was its pacing, and there's just a lot going on in this movie. There's a lot of subplots. I didn't mind it. Uh, I really enjoyed them, actually. I've heard a lot of people complaining about it. But overall, it's fun. It's unique still. Uh, I didn't mention the villain. The villain is pretty okay, but the performance itself makes up for the writing of how underdeveloped she is. I don't want to spoil her intentions or what she does, but overall, she's very cool. That being said, Kingsman the Golden Circle is a very fun film. I highly recommend that you go see it, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a 4 out of 5 stars. So guys, how would you like the review? Let us know how you liked it in the comments. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our awesome channel if you haven't already done so. You can also uh, buy our merch at cafepress.com forward slash stubmasters if you want to support the channel. Always a good thing to do. And uh, finally, just last note, I'm still getting my editing uh, equipment back together, so uh, sorry if these videos seem a little choppy right now, at least from my end. I'm working on fixing that when I get better editing materials and uh, a legitimate camera again. But uh, that's all from uh, here. Shout from Stubmaster Reviews. Have an excellent night.